Eh, ang gagaling ng mga batang yun, eh, di ba? Sobrang asim ng career nila, eh, di ba? Yung perspective is right. Because umalis sila, eh. Tinapos nga nila yung dream nila, di ba? So umalis sila. And, um, you could apply all, all sorts of visual uh, cheating, mga, mga, what do you call that? Mga filters, mga, mga signals na, oh, purkit ba may ganito ako? Ganito na yung status ko? Purkit ba... <laughs> Purkit ba may, may tattoo ka ng, ano, ng Chinese? Chinese ka na? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm also sort of there. Uh, Purkit ba, ano, uh, tinatag mo yung sambung bansa lagi? Or leaders ka na nun? Purkit ba ganun, di ba? Uh, sila na talaga? Parang eh. Parang talaga eh. Kasi ako, I mean, like, I oh, no, no, I think it's Picasso pala. Sabi niya, you, you don't really learn how to draw until you forget how to draw. Hello, greetings. My name is Rez Po. And I'm recording for Nihon Din Crack, TBS Studio, made stuff. Uh, gawa sa TBS Studio. Previously, we were called Future Studio. And then binago ko na yung TB Studio. To, to, to TB Studio. TV lang. Um, kasi yun din yung pangal ng shop ng tatay ko. So in honor, honor of his first shop. This is also my first shop. Um, yeah. And I guess that works, you know. Uh, as like a, what do you call that? Uh, an introduction to what I do. Um, I'm currently training for Nagashizuki, which is the Japanese paper making way, uh, which was, was done by ancient people and I recently got the initiative from just watching YouTube stuff that's online since it's in it's in so, sort of an open secret mode in their society um, to quit upon myself to really study it for a good six months meditate more than six months also and figure out what it is I'm supposed to do uh, I figured out how to uh, reverse engineer a suketa and then the art of um, a habatoriki ito yung, ito, which is cutting down bamboo into thin strips to make higo um, and that's how I became sort of this form of my identity parang kumbaga sa Tagalog yung face ko na na, na uh, I wouldn't I guess it came also with the changing of my nicknames, changing of my form. Um, I'm really, I got over the visual fear of bleeding, blades, that's out of the blades. Eh. So, now I always have a blade. It's interesting because uh, this kind of stuff is taught, talked about in podcasts. And I really want to go at it. I really want to just explore really what I've, what I've been changing in myself. So, so as I remember, first six months, I really dropped everything like social media, even um, vices, vices, uh, indeed vices, uh, vices. I dropped them all just to be able to focus on uh, training uh, myself to plant trees and um, look into what uh, is really necessary. Ayun, soon found out that Medyo, ano naman pala, uh, not, not typical. I would say the word they use is cl- clerical, clinical rather, not clerical, clinical. Clerical kasi, ibig sabihin parang ano kayo, autosan. Yung, yung clinical, ibig sabihin ng clinical, pag sinabing batraba mo, clinical, nasa clinic ka lagi, lagi kang naglilinis, lagi kang naglalaba, in a sense. But, you know, now I'm just purifying some bamboo and then ganun, ganun lang yung trabaho sa totoong buhay um, but for this particular video I just really wanted to have a ano, parang documentary style perch because I perched in this seat and then syempre nakaset up na yung recording dito and I was thinking before getting into it you know, like ease of use I'm really tra- training myself for ease of use I'm uh, t- mm, both training 
yung sanayan, sanayan. Uh, ina ano or in ina ano. <laughs> Talagang um, just mindfulness, you know. Wala na siya ko yung parang normal na trabaho. I work with also with AI as well. Um, that's not a funny thing to say. It's actually very for, forefront of the thinking scheme, diba? Because like for people who get it or who understand sort of the English side, the code side, uh, a lot of the work is being done by artificial intelligence now and faster than we can realize. Because that in five ten years ago, pinag-usapan palang yun as like something that would come. Eh, ngayon na come na. Andiyan eh. eh. Yung pag sa subtitles nga na ito, mapapakita ko sa inyo or napakita ko na ata. It's high accuracy. It's really figuring out my Filipino words. But, you know, since that's the tag for the language. And then Filipino has a lot of, you know, English words. But that's not the theory diba? that I'm promoting. Anyway, um, yun, yun pa lang eh. Uh, all that information, technically... Um, I'm also contributing to, let's say, like a Filipino bot community or, or endeavor na soon. Now, if I'm using this much context and uh, switching a lot of, um, switching a lot in base Tagalog in terms of syntax, I record yun eh sa AI, meaning because it's not like no one's control. It's like, ano eh, the, the metaphor for it is open seas, open space. Coders and uh, people who design AI really just get off the internet, you know, get off what's being, yung big data na tinatawag. So if you're not into masyadong techie about that, just know that matagal lang pala talaga may internet. Matagal-tagal na, na and enough to sort of parse, combine or lahatin na lahat ng words na nagagamit natin. Um, pwede mong sabihin na bilang nagpagsalta ng native language, pwede kang mag-code, for example. Uh, yung sinayar sa na word recently is kaldag. Ewan ko kung dialect yun. Baka ano. Or like wait, di ba? Uh, anong, parang ganun. So parang that kind of adds difficulty or calibration to the AI parsing. Yung parsing lang yung inisip ko dito. Kasi ang sabi ng parsing yung paano magbasa yung computer. Now, if, imagine, for example, if you're, you have a gamer lifestyle, for example, na there's a corner of your, your room or your home that is dedicated for that tech. Uh, entertainment, technology, learning, um, Farming even, visuals kasi ako, I'm a very visual farmer, I would guess. And also, I'm also a very digital-based engineer. I have a lot of um, my stuff, not physical anymore. So digital talaga. Uh, things that I like analog, ano, na subukan ko na analog in real studios. Not all of it, pero kumbaga, if I, I know what to tweak and... I know what I'm tweaking. Alam ko yung hinahawakan kong sa normal speeches. Kung ano yung topic, ano yung pinipihit ko. Eh, this is just from really recording a lot. And it's nice if, if you're a gamer, for example. Ma-apply mo rin yung, yung thing na lagi kong ina-explain. It's, it's, it's like being sound with your with your, I'm talking about, I guess, as a exploration, then yung symbiosis of humans with technology, yung parang really interfacing with, well, how, like, how do I feel about, interf- how do you feel about interfacing with your technology if you're just on your phone? Whereas someone like me is always interfacing via like voice. Wala akong any chip on my body just yet. I'm still thinking about inputs that way. But I'm also thinking about inputs that way, BMIs, brain-machine interfaces. So it's not far-fetched, uh, especially if the price point is right. But as long as I can, you know, upload consciousness this way, tagalugan nyo na lang, I am actually enjoying it. I am actually parang enjoying the subtleties of being able to create music in this fashion. Maybe five, five six years ago, 
hindi ko na rin na differentiate yung music and words eh. When I was younger, I could read words, you know, I could compose in three in three to four octaves, chords. Um, I have full I had full mastery of counterpoint, which is like my right hand, my left melody hand is creating a melody while or vice versa, my left hand is uh, figuring out bass chord bass. So, you know, if you're any type of instrumentalist, you would get what I mean. And song is based, songness, quality of song basically happens in the counterpoint. So, so for my listeners, I'm making a left right hand gesture. The beauty of like the turning ng melody at such a limit that it won't compromise the bass and won't compromise the, the chord patterns. So any song is like that. Just add na lang yung math of it, which is like 4-4, four, four, time signature, and any kind of time sig- timing tempo. Um, once an artist knows how to break that, it's essentially, sinisira mo rin yung ano mo eh, theory mo eh. Kaya nga sabi ni Michelangelo or ni Raphael or something, one of those Renaissance painters, in terms of art naman din, it's like, you, oh no, no, I think it's Picasso pala. Sabi niya, you, you don't really learn how to draw until you forget how to draw. It's the same for me. I don't, I don't really know how to make music un, unless I forget how to make music. And I have made music, you know, of my life at least. So ako ngayon, open na din ako ngayon dahil meron akong bagong main eh. Kumaga meron akong main Naga Shizuki work. Open na ako parang dun sa, but na, hindi naman balikan. More of open sa remembering what it's, feels like to be pure in creating stuff, like musical stuff. Like if you're into marketing, I mean, if you want to make marketing, you know, whatever pleases your boss, eh, matalino naman siguro yung mga marketing agents ngayon, diba? they're really just looking for conversion. Uh, and if it's conversion that you're up to, you know, get some of those guys and get some of these guys. I don't know where you're looking at. Eh. Kailangan you're, you should be looking at the, the dynamics also of how dynamic. You know, you can't just, nowadays you can't just pattern things from, I don't know, from sales point of view. Yung, yung, what tawag sa ganun? Namamap naman dun. Kung ano binibilang ng this type of person versus that type of person, if they buy a lot of, well, one for example, if someone's buying a lot of property or buying a lot of just groceries, it's so easy to, you know, categorize nodes and identities that way. What What's hard to identify about people these days is their real thoughts. And of course, you would want to know that if you're a, if you're if you're some sort of a, into sales psychology, diba? What's who's more likely to to buy a house and who's more likely to just keep on living off groceries and who's more likely to say something, you know? And those people are tagged in such a society, diba? Tag talaga. I mean, sa ilang beses ko nag-podcast, 100 episodes in, uh, wala talagang, kulang-kulang, siguro nasa limang tao lang yung talagang, uh, nasa limang tao lang talaga yung tumutok sa akin. And these are people I know from my life. So, it's not something that's for everyone i think listening is for everyone podcasting isn't um some would argue that it's already dead but i don't even see it that way i just see it like as a long format training which is i get back on as like a trainee of you know of uh, of this way yung ginagawa kasi sa nagashizuki ulit ulit talaga talagang araw-araw discipline to do something. So, upon the second or third year, nabago na rin yung neurological, neurological yung mind thing ko. Na iniisip ko lagi, na sinabi na nga rin sa, naturo din naman ng, ng, ng kahit sino namang atang magaling magturo. Diba sinasabi yun, yung parang pag tinatamad ka na, yun na actually yung reminder eh. Para gawin mo yung ano mo, gusto mo and pag gumaling ka pa dun mismo that's i think ten, maybe that's maybe tenacity discipline without saying it diba na ito na yung inisip ko this isn't emotional at all this is actually a step transition 
or uh, a station into the process of something, you, knowing inadvertently yung process inside or memorize mo na yung process, you can ta- actually just tell yourself, uy, ito na yung part na yun, di ba? Ito na yung part na kailangan mo tong sabihin or kailangan mo pumunta sa ganitong lugar or even maybe displace yourself. And pag memorize mo na, like ako, pag na- Ayoko maubusan ng ano eh, ng materials eh. Pag naubusan ng materials, nagpapanik ako eh. Parang di maganda masyado yung takbo ng business ko. I also look at it as a business, of course. Because there's, na-map out ko na rin magkano eh. Magkano yung value ng mga products na nagagawa. And also, how much time left I have in a day. Um, the day is like, you know, I work with the sun, literally. I work uh, when the sun is up. And if the sun is not up, it's not like I forget what I work on. So, um, di naman sa pagano, <laughs> pagano, uh, ano lang, uh, talagang may benefits yung, you know, uh, working in the morning because eventually I would have to use the sun to bleach. Eh. Nakaka-bleach, may natural bleaching technology pala yung, ano eh, yung, yung technique na combined mo sa tubig pati sa sun. Um, nowadays kasi, we're so dependent on mga technology ba? Mga flick lang naman yun eh. Um, of the finger. And the criticism there is we're getting addicted to its dopamine. Um, we're all already, and children are already addicted and normalized into that sort of sphere na sure, like, whatever it is in the internet, nagka-ethics na nga eh, diba? Parang, kaya nga nagka-cancel culture, diba? Tapos kaya nga ngayon uso yung anti-cancel culture, diba? It's like, we wanna cover all grounds and at least memorize what just really happened. And I think the younger generations are getting into the, the, ano, the, the, ha- the hang of it. If not, di sila makakahabol dun sa mayayaman. Kasi nga, sa generation ko pa lang, Hindi naman yung maman eh. Alam niyo na yun, di ba? May yung maman, isolated. Kasi artista. O kaya artista life. O kaya nakikita, kinocurate nila yung buhay nila para maging mukha silang yung maman. Pero yung generation ng millennials in general, hindi yung maman yun. Boomers lang yung maman, di ba? Boomers lang may war eh. Wala namang war sa millennials eh. Information war, kuno. Pero <laughs> you just make sense of that. And like, I mean, if you already have, if you know your history, it's not like you can get rich. It's not like even 10% would get rich on the internet. It's really like the 10%, 20% of the 10, top 10%. Um, and you can pl- apply all sorts of, sorts of filters and ratios. Um, you could apply also so- all sorts of visual uh, cheating, mga, mga, what do you call that? Mga filters, mga mga signals na, oh, purkit ba may ganito ako? Ganito na yung status ko? Purkit ba, <laughs> purkit ba may, may tattoo ka ng, ano, ng Chinese? Chinese ka na? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm also sort of there. Uh, purkit ba, ano, uh, tinatag mo yung sambung bansa lagi? Or leaders ka na nun? <laughs> purkit ba ganun, di ba? Uh, sila na talaga, Parang eh. Parang talaga eh. Kasi ako, I mean, as much as I follow, um, I mean, Japanese government broadcast, I also love seeing, like, I also love seeing Atarashi Gakko memes or like, you know, just Suzu, Suzuka appreciation posts. Eh, ang gagaling ng mga batang yun eh, di ba? Sobrang asim ng career nila eh, di ba? Yung, um, tapos it's like, I'm curious, di ba? So, mayroong mga updates na mga artista na daw siya, mga ganun, tapos na rin yung kontrata niya. And it's like, hmm, it smells, it, like I, I can really smell the excitement for that. Uh, I mean, as an example of culture, di ba? Oh, ayun, yun lang. I don't really wanna, ano eh, hype too much. I just wanna be able to say that um, whenever I have 22 minutes of this, it's such a blessing and it's such a, Wala na ako sa, inaalis ko na yung sarili ko. Thankfully, thankfully also because uh, I'm getting what I, yung parang ano ba, highlights lang, what you call that, milestones lang. 
naman na na nakuha ko naman pala yung gusto eh but just by expressing myself and there's a reward of of being able to do it so ang pinaka importante is be consistent figure out like now I'm really feeling for my reason na some change in my jaw uh, because maybe maybe a part of me is saying hey how about you use this kind of expression rather than rather than magpatalo ko sa crowd kasi lagi yung sasabi na you know, the way that I got sort of cancelled by a lot of my fans and listeners. Uh, kaya nakikita nyo na dyan na konti na lang, konti na lang, pa konti-konti rin yung bumabalik. If you're, I'm, I'm also assuming from the audience perspective is right. Because umalis sila eh. Tinapos nga nila yung dream nila, diba? So umalis sila. And now, how do you come back, diba? They have spoiled themselves, diba? Uh, and now, how do you come back to it? Ako naman, from my perspective, I'm really like, it's, it's the reach. Kumaga, yung, if I were looking after a garden, I, I can only tend to the part of the garden that I can reach. And, ang pangit lang dun, eh kasi, nag, eh, nang lalo, nang tingin ko sa tao eh, is nagiging damo. Kasi, wala nang maginagawa yung damo eh. They just there, they just grow, they just, they just stand tall and stuff like that. So, all these metaphors are met uh, in this kind of work. And to combat that, I don't suggest anything. I suggest that you listen and I listen also. And you know, mangyayari naman yung life eh. Mangyayari naman yung, not, not life as in biological life. I mean, the, the flow lang. Yun. Very important yun sa Nagashizuki. Kasi I'll be, I'll be working a lot with water. Um, I'll be working a lot with surface tension. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be working a lot with uh, flat surfaces and grain. And um, yung Shizuki nga ibig sabihin nun eh. Yun ang talagang ibig sabihin ng Shizuki. Yung Naga, iba pa yun. Uh, pero yung Shizuki is like mabasa tapos makalat. Yun, yun ang ibig sabihin ng Shizuki. And at the end of that, um, again, just... Gratitude for yung mga like and share and copying it and like really just sharing it around. Um, I'm not targeting any, some sort of quota or anything. Um, I'm just really practicing on this format and what kind of uh, things I could do pa to really promote uh, the new brand, which is Neonjin Crack. Uh, if it's getting on, if it's like nagegets nyo na yung Neonjin Crack, sila yung addict dun, di ba? I'm just pinu point out ko lang na ako ay pinap ano ko lang sino show ko lang na yun yun yung pangalan ng show na to kasi sila yung adik don di mano ano di naman ako adik sa ganon alright bye guys see you guys soon tawag ito two 